Today we are here in our new apartment and this is our second time to visit since we already made yesterday. Funny little cat. We don't even have a bed, no colchon, but we have a cat. Ah, oh, this is little bits. We also have each other's temperatures. Don't give your hand. Such The little cats were curious. Hi, Danielle. Little bit. Hey, guys. Welcome to our laundry room. It's spacious. It's our temporary little cat area. Cat just finished eating. Um, we have this whole area here where we can wash. Um, it's pretty big. I'm thinking of making this into a little garden area where we can have some uh, maybe lettuce, simple things growing with some lights, strawberries, low light, get some garden plants in here, make it look a little tropical. Um, got two windows, we get nice light that comes in. Um, but one of the coolest things about this place is, let me show you, once you start looking out the window, this is what we have on the other side. Welcome to the swimming pool. And uh, it's one of three. This is the smallest swimming pool that they have. Um, it's actually about six feet deep at the deepest, but kids could probably be in that area right there. Um, and so that's what makes this special. Right on the other side of our window, we have the pool.
This is our living room. Okay, so this is our kitchen. And I'm going to show you. Ayan, that's our sink. So we bring um, water or lereti. I We get that in Kalibo. Ayan. So we have some stuff here. We already bring yesterday. Since this is our second time, we just visit the little cut. And so they have here, what's this? Um, bakal and some stuffs. Okay. So we have here little window. And and then what about this? What is this one? I don't know what's this one. It's a circuit breaker in case things. Ah, okay. So, this is how it looks like. It's a circuit breaker. Ah, okay. So, if we have power issues, these will pop and you have to pop them back in mm -mm. unless they burn out. Okay. Figure that out. Let's take a look um, in the CR. So, they have here shower and they we gotta put them up to this place mm -hmm. they already have here and some muriatic acid and the grout. this is the bowl they have also flush but the one thing that is missing is the bidet then this is the sink so it's not really clean yet we need to clean it later maybe or the next time we go here again and so this is the little window and actually they have here um, and so they just put here I think temporarily and maybe soon they will get it and let's take a look so this is the small the living room area um, I'll take a look at the first room here. This is going to be my office where I get to do things. Live streaming, vlogging, that sort of thing. This is the view to the outside. This is the remnants of the uh, typhoon. It's a hot yet blustery windy day. The wind will pick up later. Let's take a look. This is the first of our stuff. And let's take a look here. Um, next room is the second room here. <laughs> I've got the cat food hanging there um, because we have to see how the ants work. Philippines has a lot of ants, and so you want to set a lot of ant traps. Um, I prefer not to spray, uh, especially when you have animals and pets. So. Um, I won't be spraying the apartment for ants. I will just be use uh, ant traps and smart, smart techniques like lots of Tupperware and protecting food. Um, but we've got sort of this little living space right over here. And so I'm thinking this would be a pretty good area to have some kind of dining room table, um, something. Uh, we'll figure it out as we get along. Um, this is going to be living quarters. Um, there's no closets, but uh, <laughs> there's a the little, the little troublemaker. This is my keyboard. Um, so again, we've got the same view outside that we did before. And next, uh, this is the uh, the building next to us. They're putting a second story there, so that's pretty cool. We'll get to the bottom of that later. Um, one thing about this room, it doesn't have a closet, so we're still thinking of what to do. I'm thinking that if we don't turn this into some kind of little tropical room with plants, uh, we're actually probably going to um, get some clothes hangers and turn this into a big giant uh, walk-in closet. And uh, this is what I mean by the ants. All right, a little trail of ants right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Let's zoom into that. And so who knows what they're getting themselves into, but there's no food in this house. Um, 
but it is what it is. Um, so we'll probably put the cat litter box somewhere in this laundry room, maybe. If we have clothes in here, no, definitely not. But we'll see, this would be a pretty cool walk-in closet. I could put a bar here at the top. This would be a lot of clothes, and then this whole space across could definitely be a big walk-in closet for Nina and myself. Um, then it wouldn't be such a big deal. Livable house, livable apartment. And this little troublemaker, he's gonna make himself a space. He likes to get in the cables and things like that, so I appreciate having an office space where we can vlog, put up a green screen on one of these walls uh, for that sort of vlogging experience and um, a door that we can close against the little troublemaker here so he won't, when we're gone, get into cables, get into uh, all kinds of things right there. So, And then living room. Looks like it's got the holes already for a flat screen. We might turn that, we might actually do something with it. Looks like we've got cable. This is our internet uh, fiber from Calibo Cable. Uh, they have a nice plan. It's uh, $40 for 100 megabits per second. We've gone ahead and had them install it. And um, it's going to be pretty fast internet. Dependability remains to be established. We'll let you know how Calibo Cable behaves. Um, but so far, so good. Those are our internet prospects coming right around the corner. Grave on situation, kasi kung walay cable, walay internet, walay experiences. So uh, all you Filipinos out there have battled with good internet and bad internet, inconsistent internet and whatnot. So this is our good, solid, wholehearted attempt at having strong, dependable, consistent internet. Uh, it's a local company here. Um, it's not Globe, it's not PLDT, it's Calibo Cable. Um, the cool thing about the contract, it's um, 1999 for 100 megabits per second. And there's no commitments, there's no contract. So if we decide not to keep them, we can fire them, and then we can worry about uh, Calibo Cable later on. Um, last, here's the kitchen. One thing that I notice is we're missing a lot of cabinets, pantry, that sort of thing. So this little space here might be pretty good for a pantry. Uh, I looked into getting a fridge. Uh, we might put a table here on this side. And uh, I actually do not want a full-size fridge. One of the spirits of living in the Philippines is you buy your food fresh. You buy your meat fresh, you buy your vegetables fresh. In America, we're used to just putting everything in the refrigerator, and so unless a big typhoon comes along, um, where it's going to shut things down, and, you know, we can always have dried goods for things like that. Um, we can always invest in like dried fish, so we can get through, uh, you know, a week or two weeks while the the entire area is recovering. Um, but I'm probably going to get a half fridge, um, and that will probably sit on a nice sturdy table here. We've got the power connection to that um, and then this is our stove area we might actually have to figure out what we're going to do for a stove I think an induction um, oven might be the best way to go so we don't have to worry about fire and uh, gas heat so we might actually have that all in this area right here so it'll be sort of an L-shaped kitchen that might take away from the plans of having a dining room table, but we can always have a table here in this corner uh, with chairs. And then if we have guests, we pull out the table and eat that way. So Nina and I, we eat a lot out because uh, it's just about as expensive to eat out as it is to eat in. Um, you could probably in the long run save some money by eating in or cooking, um, but um, we live a simple lifestyle, and we don't necessarily eat at fancy restaurants. We do from time to time, but we get by eating at the local carinderias, and for two of us, it costs us about 140 pesos, 150 pesos, which is, with the currency exchange today, about $2.80 per meal. So, pretty good food. You always get a variety of carinderias. 
And uh, there we are, folks. This is my quick rundown of the new apartment. Cheers. I like this.